Kia ora whanau. welcome back. Wellness Wednesday with me. I'm Troy from Black Dog Survivors and Support Riders and welcome to the Black Dog Lounge. Tonight we continue um, part two of our three part series um, exploring four things to keep in mind for better mental health and well-being. So tonight we're going to be looking at Hauora Wairua or our spiritual health and well-being. And we're also going to take a quick look at Hauora Fano, our family, our friends, our community connection um, and the importance that plays in our overall mental health and well-being. Thanks for joining us. Um, I'm really looking forward to sharing uh, with you tonight my thoughts on uh, Hauora Wairua and uh, Hauora Fano. Um, I'm going to try and keep it really, really brief. I mean, this is something that I could talk about for hours, but I know you don't want to stick around for hours. You want five to um, eight minutes of, of um, insight. So um, I'm going to do my best for you. Um, okay, so Hauora Wairua, what is it? Um, I guess wairua or taha wairua, hauora wairua really refers to our spiritual health and well-being and it's been well proven that uh, people who include in their day-to-day -day activities some form of spiritual uh, uh, sort of activity um, experience longer periods of uh, wellness than those that don't. Now, I know when people talk about spirituality, often uh, a lot of us, and I'm certainly, I was certainly in this place myself for a long, long time, a lot of us get hung up in that institutionalized concept of religion. Um, so let's just make it really clear. Spirituality has been a part of human practice for millennia well before um, some people sort of formalized the practice of spirituality. Um, for me, spiritual practice can include uh, mindful exercises um, that I practice um, throughout the day or at the end of the day. It can include reflective practice, so a little bit of self-reflection on what's gone well for us uh, during the day, what hasn't quite gone well for us during the day. Um, spiritual practice can also include uh, moments of uh, meditative practice as well. So um, even just, you know, during winter time, uh, quite often if I can't sleep, I'll get up, I'll stick another couple of logs in the fire and I'll just spend some time just meditating um, and watching that fire uh, grow. Uh, a little bit and I find that very very healing. Um, spiritual practice can also be heading to a beach, your favorite spot, somewhere where you find a little bit of peace, um, a little bit of quiet from that internal um, and sometimes external uh, mind chatter that can uh, soon overtake us. So spiritual practice um, can be many, many different things. It's different for everyone, but don't forget the benefits of including some form of spiritual practice into your day-to-day -day routine has been proven to really aid in um, our overall health and well-being and certainly can help in our mental health and well-being also. So, hauora wairua our spiritual health and well-being. Make sure you make a plan to include some in your day-to-day -day practice. Hauora Fano. Let's have a look at what Fano is. Fano, uh, in the Māori concept, um, kind of doesn't necessarily relate uh, only to blood relatives, um, our tribe if you like. So whichever tribe you belong to, um, you know, 
that can be included in your whānau. It can also be your support workers if you have support people working alongside you to help you regain your mental um, health and well-being. Um, whānau can also refer to our community connections and today I was talking to a group and it really reminded me of a couple of experiences when I was really really low. Um, I was isolating inside my own head for far too long and that isolation led to others not wanting to be a part of my life. Um, so uh, one of the things that uh, I did was I did um, an affirmation practice um, many many times throughout um, the days when I was isolating. And helped me sort of regain a little bit of confidence and it kind of opened me up a little bit more and before I knew it uh, people inside my community were noticing that I was much more open and so they started to connect with me and on the day that they started to connect with me you know what happened I started to feel a whole lot better I actually felt like I was a welcome part of a community. Today I'm very very lucky my whānau includes a wide circle of people not just my wife and my son, my dog, the cat that lives outside um, as it used to but my whānau now includes the motorcycling community which has welcomed me with open arms. People like you have welcomed me um, with warm embraces when I haven't be, been feeling uh, so great. You've invited me on rides, um, charity events, um, you've come on some of the charity rides that I've organised with the help of a few friends um, and family members and, and you know it feels really good to be something a part of something that is much bigger than just myself so tonight I hope that gave you a little bit of an insight into Hauora Wairua the spiritual practices that can lead to better mental health and well-being and we talked about hauora Fano, and I hope that within that kōrero you found something that resonated with you. Um, you know today in the group one of the homework exercises I gave um, a couple of members of the group um, who had been visiting the same dairy for many many months. Their homework exercise, what's the name of your dairy owner? It was as simple as that their homework, find out and every day find out a little bit more about that person's story. It's going to take them outside of their own head for a moment in time and I guarantee that pretty soon they're going to start to feel like they're a part of a bigger community. I've been Troy, this has been Wellness Wednesday with me, part two of a three-part series. You've been fantastic. I'm feeling much better about this. I'm standing up. Um, last time you saw me, I was sitting down and I was reading from a script because I was really nervous. Tonight, I'm standing up in front of a painting that I created as a part of a community exercise. Um, and... I'm sharing with you. So thank you for joining us. As I say, I've been Troy. This has been Wellness Wednesday with me at the Black Dog Lounge. You take care. Stay safe, stay healthy. If you're riding, please be vigilant. Take it easy out there, okay? We need you in this world. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. <laughs>